Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. So as you can see, today's episode is going to be a little bit different, and today we're going to be talking about the Bravo Throttle Quadrant, which is right here. So why do I have the Bravo Throttle Quadrant apart, and why do I have it in my hand? Well, for those of you that are using the Bravo Throttle Quadrant, I've been using mine now for almost a year, and now I've had a problem. All of my reversers for my commercial handles do not work anymore. And I've figured out the problem, and we're going to try to hopefully fix that on today's episode. Well, so basically the issue is there's about three different wires that come up to each of these little handles. And the wires way down inside from moving these forward and backwards have snapped. So in today's video, my hopes is that we'll be able to get this thing apart, repair those wires, and then make them so that they don't do that again. So if you think that interests you, then stay tuned right here on 20 Point Flight Simmers. Okay. So it looks like the first thing that we're gonna do is start taking these screws off underneath and see what happens. All right, so here is everything inside of the Bravo throttle quadrant. It looks like what I gotta do is remove this whole assembly right here to be able to get to the wires that are on top because that's where they're broken uh, on the top side of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all four of these screws and this whole assembly should just pop off of here and hopefully uh, we don't have any springs or anything pop out. So. Wish me luck. So you can see these wires here, they're broke on pretty much every you can see them they're snapped on every one of these controllers here so hopefully I'll be able to get these soldered back on and we'll see all right so now that we removed that uh, we can see these a little bit better here and you can see how these wires are just all broken on the inside of this assembly. So hopefully we are going to fix this and we're going to make sure that this doesn't happen again. So let's see how this is going to go. All right, so now what I need to do is I need to ohm out these wires on this plug on one of the good ones. Well, there's only one wire broken, but that'll allow me to ohm this out so I can figure out which one of these connectors go with which slot on the plug. So when I'm dealing with something like this where pretty much every wire is busted, it allows me to figure out uh, where they're going to go together. So let's start oming these things out. So now what I'm going to do is kind of draw this out so I know and can repeat this and not have to keep rechecking myself. So basically what I did was kind of draw out how the plug is going to match up 
to the terminal ends. This way I don't get these mixed up because you don't want to be pulling back a reverser and it be operating the little push button switch part of it. So uh, we just want to make sure that all these are done correct. So now I have that to go by. So let's see if we can go ahead and solder all these back up to the right spot. I think the whole thing is that they just need better wire routing so the wires have a way to move um, that's that's what I see is the biggest problem here and if you're watching this honeycomb take some notes so you're gonna have a lot of people calling you now the only thing I'm not gonna put in are these uh, they're detent I guess little detent balls. So I'm gonna put them in. I'm just gonna wait until I get them all done. Then I'm gonna go back and put all these little detent balls in. And that's where you get that last detent for um, that lower switch there on the Bravo. Poor design to do it this way. I want to keep everything aligned here so you don't get anything out of sync for some odd reason. No, that would be my luck. Next, we're going to put the rod back in just to make sure they don't get turned around on me. Don't know, it could be something goofy. But I'm still going to take the slack out of all of these. So, see how I have uh, this slack down here. What I'm going to do is unwind this and take that slack out. Same thing with this. I don't want these loops in here. That's not going to be good. And I'm hoping that uh, the hot glue will keep everything in. Time will tell with that. Now, I'm sorry if this is a boring video. Oh, look at that. The other one just snapped. Crikey. Hi. Let's take it back apart again. Well, I'd rather have it snap now than have it snap on me when I put the thing back together. And I'm not really clamping the wires in this thing because the wires are so delicate. The clamps actually put markings in them, and I'm afraid it's going to cut through. All right, so just to explain what I'm doing here, the idea behind this little shrink wrap is to keep the wires from snagging on anything. So that's what my hope is with this. We'll see if it actually does it.
So that's those. <clears throat> All right, it looks like everything went back together okay. Just want to make sure you don't pinch any wires when you're doing this. Um, so now I'm going to put my clamps back over top so that it'll hold this down, kind of like a crankshaft. And here are my, my clamps right here. Let's figure out if, okay, they're both the exact same. There it goes, right in there. And then the other one will go right there. There it is. You feel that click into place. And what that's going to do is that also holds this front um, bar down. So this way everything remains in alignment properly. And you just want to make sure that's straight, equal on both sides. And now we can go ahead and tighten these up. Magnetic tip screwdriver helps. I'm just going to get them started and then I'm going to switch screwdrivers. And then we have to make sure that our wires aren't going to bind up on us anywhere inside of here. But as you see, you've got a lot of room inside. Now make sure you don't over torque these because these are just plastic. Well, now everybody got to see what's inside of a Bravo throttle quadrant, which really isn't much in here, is it? So, all right, let's take a look at these wires. And now we're going to route these so they can move freely. All right, everyone. So I think that's going to wrap up the video for today on the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant on rewiring all of your levers here for your reversers. So if your reversers start falling out on you over time, then you know what you've got to do. I hope in this video you got a lot of information out of it, especially if you got to tear down one of these things. If anybody has any questions about what I had to go through today, pop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I want to thank everybody for joining us today here on 2020 Flight Simmers. If you haven't done so already, please go down there and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. You don't want to miss any future videos. While you're down there, smash on that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. And all my flight simmers out there, keep the blue side up. We'll see you on the next one.